A solitary king carries the crown to a new land. You know what? We'll go ahead and do the intro. Just for everybody who hasn't played yet. Um, or even know what the hell this is. This is Kingdom. It's a fun, tiny game. Where you kind of build a kingdom, I guess? It's pretty different. Um... So yeah, coins, coins are a big thing. That's how we're going to start our fire. And how we recruit peasants. And how we buy them things. They automatically pick stuff up. One of my uh, main attractions to this game is the fact that a lot of the stuff is automated, kind of. So... We've got us a couple of peasants, a few coins. Let's go get us some more peasants, shall we? Always got to remember to stop and feed your horse, too. And what the hell is that? That's new. <laughs> oh, actually, now that I think about it, there's another part of the tutorial I didn't finish. build this wall which we could have automated later at some point out of the way dear uh, we got to be careful while we're out here as long as we have coins we'll be fine yeah. can't go any further than that for now either Build, expand, defend. Gotcha, game. I think I can figure it out from here. It's been a while since I've um, played or beaten this. Uh, we should be able to do just fine. Or not, we're going to die horribly. But that comes with the territory. Get another bow. Some more coins. We can get two more bows. Actually, I should have saved those last two coins. Shit. Doesn't matter. It's almost night anyways. I always want to stay inside. Stay inside. Stay near your camp at night. Let's go, buddy. We won't need um, any builders for a considerable amount of time. Mostly going to be concerned with getting as many of these peasants as we can and getting them armed. Because there are things that go bump in the night. And they divvy themselves up evenly on both sides. I guess the tutorial was kind of pointless, but these walls you can uh, actually upgrade automatically. And I think I mentioned that earlier, but I said automated. You can upgrade these starter walls automatically uh, once you upgrade your campfire enough times. So, if you're quick enough and good enough... down to that peasant. We're going to run back because at the start of every day, we get coins. Yay. Now, we're going to go ahead and make another bow, or buy another bow. 
for that peasant that's on his way there right now. And we're going to see how far we can go this way. That's what we're looking for right there is another camp. More peasants, please. And very nice. So this is our archer shrine. We can spend coins uh, to put points into it, obviously. Nice, more peasants. We gotta go back now, we're out of coins. If we get attacked and we don't have any coins, we'll lose our crown, which is not good. But yeah, we can dump coins into this uh, shrine and uh, it'll give our archers a boost. It'll probably take all day for those peasants to make it back. That's fine. We have more on the way. So we got to buy some bows for these two guys and then the two after. Very nice. And I almost feel obligated to go ahead and put up the starter wall there anyways. There's actually, uh, I think there's even achievement involved with getting those walls up automatically. Looks like another peasant spun in here. There's those three guys. Yeah, and for, uh... Four coins. For four coins, you can pay the merchant, and he'll deliver an, a random, a random assortment of uh, tools. See, we should have some hunters on this side as well. Any luck, guys? Not much. I'm gonna have to take this for it, this forest out. Eventually, we'll be able to build a farm down here where the stream's at. That's where you get the real money. Gonna be missing anyone? Uh, looks like that's gonna be everybody. Good. Good, good, good. Now, I think we should explore to the left the start of the new day. We're also going to need to buy one bow for this fellow here. <laughs> and a couple of bunnies. Nice job. No, don't need the campfire upgraded just yet. Yeah, I guess it is kind of tower defense. Ah, one of our hunters got caught out in the middle of the woods by himself. Got jacked up a little bit. Another thing we have to keep in mind as upgrading some of that stuff. Um, there we go. This is what I was looking for next. It took me a while to... a real long time to figure out what the hell this thing actually did without looking it up, of course, and we want to stay away from that. So, the coins we just put in there... That will allow us to upgrade using stone materials. Yeah, there's only one uh, one camp to the left. There's three camps to the right, which is 
Pretty awesome. Definitely going to be milking that for uh, settlers every other day or so. In fact, I'm sure we could probably snag uh, several now. It's only midday. Nice. <laughs> and there is something to be said about a strategy using... Um, <coughs> and, um, like, crawling uh, deer back towards your hunters. The next camp over is too far out. I don't even think the peasants would be able to make it back in time. And something I gotta remember too is, but when I chop this tree down, this uh, camp will disappear. So I gotta stay away from that. So, uh, let's see. We might actually go ahead and upgrade our campfire now. Considering how much, uh, how many hunters we've got, we'll be making a decent little amount of gold. Though there is something else to keep in mind is that as you upgrade your, uh, your camp, you'll get less uh, gold every day. In the chest, just naturally. I might actually get this guy a hammer. Probably look into upgrading our walls. That guy needs a bow. Yeah, this upgrade would have given these given us these walls. And now we can hire farmers. <laughs> but I think we're more worried about the walls first. Not that guy coin though. Bond camping them unfortunate little bunnies. Where are all the hunters on this side? Weird. That's kind of scary. really weird. I've never seen them do that. Why the fuck are they all over here? Uh, that's, that's really worrisome. They're spawn camping these rabbits, I guess, but I could get a deer to run back this way. I don't think they're going to be able to do a whole lot. 
I shouldn't be running around out there without any money anyhow. <laughs> That's pitiful. Builders finish the wall over here. Waiting for it to the sun to go down, for everybody to go back inside. Then I need to see if any of them even even go to the other side. What the hell they're doing? Yeah, this guy is. More than one archer over there, though, of course. Get a move on, guys. I think we're going to go visit the archery shrine. The archer shrine, that is. Any coins we have left over on the way back, we'll pick up some peasants along the way. Need to feed the horse. Feed horse! Good job, hunters. That'll give us one day. I've got plenty for more peasants. Probably could have snagged that merchant. I'm just going to invest it into more peasants. Over here? No? Shit. Let's have a builder come out and chop that tree down for pretty much no reason. Oh, we're still going to be short bows. First week. Weeks come in fives <laughs> around here, and um, some spooky stuff happens. And by spooky stuff, that's just, uh, it's just the big waves show up. You gotta put up with them. Hopefully, those peasants get in here.
Now, I'm pretty sure the way it works, or the way I remember it working, is they attack. There's a big wave that'll show up on one side. Get in here, peasant. There they come. Crazy ass peasant was running back out there for it. Jesus. It's terrifying. All right. If I hadn't uh, <laughs> dropped those coins in that shrine, we. Might have been in a little bit of trouble. <laughs>